Hello YouTube, this is Kentucky Snuff with The World of Snuff Episode 2. And today we're going to be talking about choosing a snuff. Choosing a snuff can be really easy and it can be one of the most annoying things that you've ever done. And I say that because there's so much of it out there that that ends up, end up ugh, I'm tongue twisted, that ends up being the main factor in uh, choosing one because there's so many factors and it depends on what kind of snuffer you are you know if you're looking for you're just looking for flavor you don't care about nicotine well then that eliminates you know the whole nicotine thing out of the fray right there so we're gonna be looking at some of those some of those uh, some of those things so first thing you know what's really important and this should be the first thing that you look at not not flavor not nicotine you should be looking at price and you know even if you've got you know a fat wad of cash to throw at it you still you need to set a budget for yourself because there's bills you gotta pay you gotta pay for eating you gotta pay for gas in your truck or your car or whatever you drive your moped your motorcycle whatever the hell whatever the hell you're going out there in the world in so uh always look at the price of what you're buying I mean there are deals you know if you buy a case you know you save so many so many dollars some sort of percentage I know they run that on Mr. Snuff and it'll be like buy 10 save 10 percent whatever you know look at that sort of thing uh, look at the price of a 5 gram tin compared to let's say a 25 gram tin um, Look at bundles, you know, some bundles if you buy if you buy a certain bundle, you know, you might get a free snuff included with it. You know, that's that's some of the things you need to look at. Um, and there are there are cases where, you know, a twenty five gram tin will be cheaper per gram, you know, price per gram than a ten gram tin. That's just those are some of the things you need to look at as far as pricing goes. Once you've got the pricing out of the way, what you need to start looking at, pick out some flavors. Um, pick out a certain manufacturer that has certain flavors or whatever. Uh, a good place to start would be Tote. They have they have a lot of they have a lot of different snuff flavors, and uh, so does Wilson's. Um, there, there's just a bunch out there, you know. They have they have every flavor you could think of. Um, dog vomit. Uh, stale moldy bread okay I'm kidding but I mean that just gives you an idea that there are there are all kinds of flavors out there you know if you're looking for a fruity duty that's out there if you're looking for you know a toast there's all kinds of those out there you're looking for something citrusy or you're looking for an SP you have those options and don't limit yourself to one sort of snack you know there's so many out there for you to pick so you should never limit yourself. You should always want to try anything you can get your hands on. So uh, one of the another thing that you need to look at, you need to look at the nicotine level. If you're that sort of snuffer, um, there's a lot of them out there that are pretty high in nicotine. Uh, high dry toast from Freiburg and Trayer, uh, Delacia White, 41 Photo White Elephant, just to name a few. Those are some of the ones that, you know, knock your socks off, hit you in the face. Yo mama told you this, your mama told you that, you know. That's, that's another thing, the big, big thing to look at. And if you're new to snuffing and you're not, you're not really a nicotine head, you know, there's some out there that they don't have a lot of nicotine. And that's another thing you got to look at. If you don't, if you don't want to get all hot and sweaty and your head spinning there's snuffs out there that won't do that to you it's just tobacco a little bit of nicotine and some flavor and then another thing one one thing that you really need to look at and that's the size of the tin and that's not you know just in the aspect of how much it cost but do you do you see yourself going through 50 grams of whiskey and whatever well not 50 grams 25 grams of whiskey and honey do you see yourself going through that rather quickly and I mean I know these are twist top tins but 
they're not guaranteed to last you forever if it's not something that you're going to do a lot. Um, you know, you need to take that into consideration, which is when you need to start considering decanting. This is six photo cheetah. I see a lot of people write on the lids. Well, I just write on tape and put it on there because once I go through all this, I'm going to use it for something else. That, that's getting off topic. So, uh, there's, there's all sorts of things that go into the process of picking a snuff. If you don't like, if you don't like fruit snuffs, you don't like fruit snuffs. You don't have to pick them. And that's another thing. And I'll, I'll use a certain manufacturer in particular that they don't name their snuffs after what what it is. It's not you know such and such peppermint. It's Samuel Gallant. They have a lot of a lot of their snuffs, the name doesn't really give you an idea of what you're, what you're getting yourself into. Case in point, where is it? It's the Samuel Gallup Blue Crest, which I have. If I can find it, you know, you would when you think Blue Crest, you're not thinking of you know a natural tobacco smell. So always read the descriptions. Always, you know, if you're on Mr. Snuff. Let's say this is the web page that you're looking at. At the top of the product description, it'll say, you know, such and such type. It'll say uh, natural tobacco, uh, ease of snuffing, easy, nicotine level, blah, 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 moisture, blah, blah, blah. Look at that whenever you're looking at buying a snuff because that's going to provide you basically a basic description of how your snuff will turn out. And not to mention when you're, when you're looking at it, Hello, Luna. Luna's going to tell you. Okay, she's not going to tell you. Get down. I love you too, but I love you too. Now get down. Quit biting. Get down. Go eat your food. Um, when you're looking at the web page, you got your little, your little basic info right here. You have probably a picture of some sort of symbol from the, from the manufacturer itself, and then down here you'll have you'll have a product description and this basically comes it may come from the manufacturer itself it may come from Joe Schmo from Detroit Michigan or whoever you know it'll say you know this snuff blah 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 SP with hints of bergamot and you know hint uh, backdrops of a natural tobacco play, uh, flavor courtesy of whoever look at that sort of thing and if you want to get even more in depth in that on that thing up here below all that there will be a little place for reviews. If it has reviews, take a look at those because a lot of people do provide reviews and they, it will provide a lot of insight into what you're looking at. Get down. Go. She comes back for more. Go. Go. Go eat your food. I'm not going to edit any of that out because it just takes too much time. I want to get this uploaded as soon as I possibly can. So uh, this has been World of Snuff Season 1, Episode 2, Choosing a Snuff. Like I said, there's many factors into it. Don't limit yourself just on one thing. Always look at the big picture because at the end of the day, when you get that when you're on your uh, your shopping cart and you're about to check out, you want to look at that total. You want to see, am I spending too much? Do I have all the snuffs that I'm looking for? Do I have the sizes that I'm looking for? Will the nicotine be too much for me? Some people don't. Some people already have their favorites and they're not going to worry about that. They're just going to get in bulk what they really like. And there's nothing wrong with that. Once Once you've taken this journey for a little while and you have an idea of what you like, you don't have to really worry about that anymore. You don't have to worry about branching out and worry about nicotine and all that good stuff. Go. Get out of here. Go. She won't leave me alone. She's in she's in pester mode. Get down. Get down. Go. Go. Where's your sock at? You know, she has a sock. She found a sock somewhere. And I'm taking to just letting her use the sock.
Go. Yeah, maybe she'll be distracted long enough. Go. I guess not. Whatever. But yeah. Then I then I want to get into uh, the next the next discussion that I will have in the next episode of World of Snuff episode three. There, in the future episode, we're gonna cut get deeper into it. You know now. Now you've chosen, chosen a snuff. You bought different types. You know the techniques that you're gonna use. You know what you're gonna receive in the mail. But now, types of snuff: SPs, toasts, fruit, methylateds, medicateds, Indians, schmalzlers. You know there's, there's so many types. And that's what I want to get into on the next episode. Thank you for watching.